Social Security Disability Law, how long until you receive your benefits? In this video, I'm going to talk with you about Social Security Disability Law. Sometimes Social Security will make decisions that aren't always in your favor, and you may need a licensed attorney who focuses on disability law. They can help you and guide you through this complicated system. My name is Michael Sullivan. I'm an attorney licensed in Kentucky. It's very fulfilling to see people that suddenly they can get a place to stay, suddenly they can buy food. That's where the magic is. The question always comes, how can you help me? How do we get started? What do we need to do to make a difference today? Consider this, you're getting ready to file for disability benefits, but you're finding the whole system a little confusing. And you're wondering, just how long is all this gonna take? My name's Mike Sullivan, a lawyer here in Kentucky. All I practice are disability related claims. I understand the confusion you're feeling right now. In fact, I've helped many people who are having the same trouble getting their SSI and SSDI benefits. I'd be proud to help you too. You may not know that once you get your disability benefits, you may not be able to get them indefinitely. If your medical condition changes or improves, this could affect the continuance of your benefit payments. A few years ago, the agency approved several million dollars for what they call continuing disability investigations. The point of these investigations? To determine if disability recipients remain disabled under the law. Yeah, this type of activity could actually terminate your benefits. It's very important you pay attention to the SSA mail about this topic. In a reinvestigation case, the burden of proof is now on the agency. See, this time, they need to demonstrate that you've experienced medical improvement and that the improvement is relevant to your ability to go back to work. You see, these cases can get complex, and in my own experience, they can actually be harder to win than the initial award of benefits. For example, cancers. They can be life-changing. If you've been a victim of cancer, you know, once you've had chemo and radiation, once the treatments end a few weeks later, the harsh side effects tend to subside. Now, Social Security may ignore the long-term effects of these treatments and somehow conclude, since you're not throwing up every day, you can now suddenly go back to work. The point here, stay on top of all the paperwork. Read the Social Security mail immediately. Don't put it on the shelf. Don't throw it in a drawer. You need to be aware of what you need to do to preserve your benefits so that they continue while the appeal is going on. Whether you're filing, appealing your claim, either way, having a licensed attorney by your side to help you navigate this confusing system can take the pressure off you and it can affect the outcome of your benefits. Call me when you need help. If you have any questions about your particular case, anything that might revolve around what kind of proof you need, remember, when in doubt, call your lawyer. I'm attorney Michael Sullivan. Let me know if I can answer your questions.